bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture in this lecture we are going to begin with the first and the most basic grammar topic from class 9th nagaland board multi skill course book which is parts of speech now we all understand that parts of speech is the basis of every sentence every sentence that we speak that we write that we read is made up of different parts of speech what are the different parts of speech we have nouns we have adjectives verbs adverbs pronouns prepositions articles and conjunctions these are the different parts of speech that we have in every sentence we shall be studying about each of these parts of speech in detail in the coming videos according to the topics that you have in your grammar book but right now in this video i am just introducing you to them so for that look at this sentence which is given on your screen in your books he looked around and jumped over the high wall into the beautiful castle this is one sentence which is given to you you have to tell us what each of the highlighted words are you know which part of speech they belong to let us look at them looked is an action word right when you look at somebody you look over somebody that is an action word that represents what action is taking place so an action word what is known as a verb then we have around. around is telling you about the position of the place where this person looked so position is being talked about of the noun so this is a preposition the next word that we have in the sentence is carefully always remember any word which ends with an l this is the easiest way of identify is an adverb i am not saying that only those words which end with an l by is an adverb there are other words also that fall into the category of an adverb but for sure any word that ends with an ly is an and then we have and and is joining the sentences it is adding on a new sentence to it so this is a conjunction so conjunctions are the joining words then we have what is the the is the part of an article we have three articles a and the so the is a part of an article then we have again into or rather you know into is again a preposition if i tell you the is an article as we have discussed so the is an article beautiful beautiful is describing a castle a describing word so a describing word is known as an adjective and castle it is a thing it is a name of a place that we are describing so a name word is a noun so these are the different parts of speech verb is an action word preposition is something that connects one verb to another verb one noun to another noun one adjective to another adjective adverb 
tells you something about the verb. It is going to modify a verb, give us some more information about a verb. Conjunctions are those words which help you to join two or more than two sentences. Then we have articles. We have three articles, a and and the. Preposition, I have told you. Adjectives are describing words, those words which describe a noun or a pronoun. And then we have a noun. Noun is a naming word, name of a place, person, animal or thing. So these are the different parts of speech that every sentence has. Now, look at the next question which is given to you. It says that from the given table, so you can see there is a table. You are given with different categories, different parts of speech. You are given examples of nouns, adjectives, verbs, verbs pronouns, prepositions and articles. You have to choose randomly any word from any column and make a sentence using it. Okay, one example has been given to you. I saw a huge animal and it was trudging carefully. So, I chose I saw and then a huge from the adjectives, dinosaur from the nouns and this way I framed one sentence. Similarly, I have to frame more sentences. Let me pick up the pronoun. Now, you. So, you collect, if I say, a cage. You collected a cage and with the parrot inside. So you collected a cage and chattered, talked to the parrot inside. Similarly, if you frame another sentence, this mouse um, is, or rather his mouse is brown in color and fact its tail on seeing a monkey. So his mouse is black or brown in color and wagged its tail. Wagging means moving its tail when he saw a monkey. Let us move on and make another sentence. This is fun. You can frame as many sentences as you want. So if I say, my kitten, I choose kitten this time. So my kitten has bushy brown eyes or bushy brown tail which it keep wagging or which it wagged on seeing or which it wagged happily on seeing a dog. So my mouse or my Kitten has a bushy brown tail which it wagged happily on seeing a dog. So you see, this way, dear students, you can pick any random combination of a pronoun, verb, adjective, noun and can frame a sentence using it. So this was merely an introduction of the parts of speech. 
we shall be learning about each one of them in detail in the coming videos so that will make you the concept of nouns prepositions adjectives adverbs conjunctions determiners articles very much clear